Hey there YouTube, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in to the Bunker Homesteading channel. Today we're going to discuss my first time riding in the rain and uh, I'm going to kind of go over my first experience, my thoughts, and uh, some tips. So stick around and uh, let's get started. Just to kind of give you a quick update on how long I've been riding a bike. I uh, have been riding my bike now for about almost two months and have a little over a thousand miles under my belt. And I got a 2008 Honda Shadow Arrow 750 and she is my primary commuter vehicle to work. And trip home from work about uh, 25 minutes either direction so all in all close to an hour commute every day I am self-taught I want to give a quick shout out to Dan Dan Fireman MC Ryder and Blockhead and those three motor vloggers have definitely been a huge huge influence in allowing me to uh, ride my bike as safely as I have been. And they've been a huge influence on me as a motorcyclist and a uh, newbie in the era of riding on two wheels. So those of you that are new riders, uh, riding at night and during inclement weather can definitely be scary. I experienced my first commute via at night time while raining. It was raining this morning fairly well. Uh, I would say it almost a good downpour. And uh, my commute is mostly highway, so I was going on average about 60 miles an hour. And uh, lo and behold, everybody else around me was definitely not going 60, where I felt like I was flying at 60 and pitch black, rainy weather and most of the people were flying by me like it was daytime and dry. So definitely gives you a new perspective as to safety and a new appreciation as far as safety while riding a motorcycle, as far as the complacency of people in cars and from what I've learned from other people, cagers. Because they're basically driving around a cage with four wheels on it. But as far as being scary and bucket factor, definitely uh, had the intensity of slight anxiety. Uh, as far as being scared, I really only got scared once when uh, it was so dark out I couldn't see the lines anymore even with the headlights. So at that point I, uh, I slowed down enough to let the car behind me pass me. And then I got in behind him and let him lead the way. Just kind of followed in his uh, his wake that he left behind with his tires. Um, the cool thing is, is when you're when you're riding in the rain and you're falling behind a car, the car cuts out a channel like a like a boat through water and it leaves a wake. And if you just drive in that that empty spot, it clears most of the water and the debris out, so it's you get a lot better traction. Um, and then you have people like this joker that just uh, turn and put the blink around at the same time. So quick tip for all you newbies out there, myself included, drive in the wake that the car creates in front of you. You don't want to drive in the middle here. They're in the middle, the rain's bad because you have run a higher risk of hydroplaning, uh, running into a pothole that's unseen. But if you drive in the wake left behind from the vehicle in front of you, it's a lot safer and, like I said, better traction with your tires. The other thing is, is don't be scared on the turns. Uh, the first turn or two I definitely had was a little bit more tentative. Um, I didn't want to lean too much. You know, I was worried about hitting it too fast. Uh, the biggest thing is just speed, speed control. Slow down. You know, you want to maintain some power to your rear wheel. Uh, that way, it provides you know such a centrifugal force or whatever the hell you might call it. Physics, look it up. But, um, man, it was definitely an experience. It was pouring out. 
I learned that my visor sucks ass and fogs up, and so I had to leave leave it cracked. And uh, in doing so, I thought it was gonna get soaking wet, but luckily I have the windshield here, and it allowed me to stay relatively dry. Uh, my inexpensive rain suit was my Gore-Tex rain suit while I was in the Army. Um, and then I have the liner that goes under my coat that kept me kept me dry. Um, I did get a little wet under the sleeves, but all in all, I stayed stayed dry, um, even with the helmet cracked open and my neck exposed. I didn't get wet at all. So even though it was pouring out, the windshield deflected most of the rain. My bike, on the other hand, did. Uh, get dirty as shit, so uh, there was definitely water splashing up all over the place, but it was not getting under my clothes. But, like I said, for all you new riders out there that are that haven't experienced riding in the rain yet, uh, the biggest thing I can say is, you know, being confident in your skills as a rider. Go a lot slower. Don't be afraid to go slow. Um, and just stay in control of your bike. Uh, that's really the biggest things I can say is for me is, um, you know, pucker factor was there, but as you know, long as, you know, I knew that, I knew how to ride my bike, and as long as I stayed in the, the dry spots of the road, I really had nothing to worry about. Um, give yourself some speed, I'm sorry, some distance between you and the car in front of you. That way, you have a lot longer time to stop, and you don't have to worry about slamming on your brakes, and in the rain, slamming on your brakes, you're definitely going to go sliding. So, but all in all, it was definitely an experience. <laughs> like I said, I love the rain. I love everything about bad weather, but uh, driving through it is definitely an experience. Um, you can't be faint, heart, faint, faint of heart or timid. You have to have confidence. You have to give it 100%, pay attention, situational awareness, expect the unexpected, all those stupid cliches, they're all true, um, but you gotta pay attention, go slow, don't be afraid to go slow and let people pass you, um, oh yeah, that brings me up to the point is, is don't be afraid to uh, go slow, but also in doing so, make sure you keep an eye on your rear view mirror so that way you don't get rear-ended by somebody hauling ass up behind you that's not paying attention because you are a lot harder to see um, at night, let alone if it's raining, so. Give yourself some room from the car in front of you, and pay attention to the cars behind you. And as you can see here, in some of this footage here, that'll, the only time I really got scared and definitely puckered up and got real tense and locked up was uh, when I was coming down the top of this really big hill and I could no longer see the lines lines on the road and the, my headlight didn't do shit so I couldn't see in front of me um, but luckily a car was coming around behind me passing me up and I just got in behind him and used him as a really big headlight and I just followed his taillights and drove in his wake but as a beginning beginner beginning rider now, I definitely want to give a shout out to everybody that I've watched on YouTube without y'all. You know, I definitely would not be where I am today as far as my progress and learning how to ride my bike. Um, almost all of my learning how to ride my bike and how slow maneuvers, turns, counter steering, all of that I learned off of YouTube. And then I would go and practice it at the local high school. Now, I can't stress enough the importance of practice, you know. Don't think practice is stupid, you know, driving around a parking lot. Um, I did that for uh, a couple hours a week uh, for about two and a half weeks before I felt comfortable enough to uh, ride around town. So I progressed from riding around the high school to riding to and from the high school to riding to and from the high school and then driving around town. And once I was comfortable riding around town with the stoplights and the railroad tracks and and all that jazz, uh, I progressed to getting on the highway. Um, as far as getting on the highway and working that into your your routine, 
what I would do is, since I live between two really big on-ramps, I'd get on the on-ramp, get up to speed, merge with traffic, and then exit. And I would do that multiple times until I felt comfortable enough to get on the highway, stay on the highway for a few exits, you know, change lanes, merge with traffic, and then exit, and then, you know, take their turn around and do it all over again. Um, I live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, so um, for me, 20, 30 minutes is the normal commute just about anywhere in town. And all of that is highway mileage, so I'm definitely racking up a significant amount of highway mileage. So, and I want to thank all y'all again for tuning into my channel. Um, it's definitely a new channel. Um, my main focus is going to be weight loss with the ketogenic diet. Um, I am now officially under 100 pounds that I've lost. I went from 290 to 189, and that's where I'm at now. So my channel will basically be focusing on you know, healthy living, healthy eating, and then also my motor vlogging, because I think as a beginning motorcyclist that I can share my newbie experiences with all y'all that are new motorcyclists and having these experienced motorcyclists talk at you and tell you about it, but um, you know, I'm going through it with you so y'all can learn with me. And that's going to be the primary focus of my channel is you know, bringing y'all along with me to where we experience the, uh, all this stuff together. So again, thank you for tuning in. Uh, go ahead and click the like and subscribe. Click the bell for notifications of our next videos. Check out our Patreon account. Um, it's definitely uh, a work in progress, but um, any support is greatly appreciated. Uh, as I continue to grow, you all hopefully will grow with me, and uh, together we'll learn and experience new things and um, enjoy you know, being a motorcyclist together. This is a, definitely a lifestyle change, and um, I look forward to sharing that experience with you guys. So, like I said, stick around for our next video, and uh, y'all take care. We'll see you soon.